Story time about how I caught my husband cheating on me with a neighbor. My husband is a really, really rich guy. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I first met my husband when I was 20 years old and he was 10 years older than me. He was basically my sugar daddy. Once I graduated college, he asked me to work at his company. He did all of the marketing, but eventually we wanted to have kids, so we decided to move to a bigger house. We ended up moving to a really secluded neighborhood with lots of rich families. One of our neighbors owned a yoga studio. There was also a young couple living across the street from us and they were also business owners. It was the perfect situation until I noticed that my husband was paying less and less attention to me. Well, I didn't hesitate to ask him why. He denied it and said that I was making things up in my head. Head. So I installed an app in his phone that would send all of his text messages and emails straight to my phone. And guess what I saw? Text messages between him and the neighbor who owned the yoga studio. She was 10 years older than my husband, so I never saw it coming. I started collecting all the evidence into folders, pictures, and text messages. I wanted to catch him in the act. So one day I said I was going to a spa for the entire day. Part two is up. I told my husband I was gonna be at the spa all day long. I wanted to see if he was gonna bring the neighbor around to cheat on me some more. When I got in the car to leave, I get a message that he sent to the neighbor. Like I said, I had planted an app in his phone, so I was receiving all the messages he was sending and receiving. And of course, he sends her a message saying, hey, my wife's gonna be at the spa all day, we're free. And she replies saying, perfect, I'll come over. My stomach dropped. I drove around for a bit and waited for her to get to my house. Then I see she sends him a message saying she's there. That was my cue to go back to my house to catch him in the act. I race back and enter the house super quietly. I go into the living room and don't see anything, so I assumed they were in our bedroom. I go up to the bedroom and no one's there. And I see they're in the backyard in the pool. I pull out my phone and press record. I run downstairs and I surprise them in the act. They were both naked and my husband jumps out of the pool and wraps himself in a towel. Our neighbor stays in the pool. My husband says, I was gonna tell you, I swear. It gets worse, part three is up. I catch my husband doing dirty things in the pool with our neighbor. I'm recording all of this, by the way. He says he was gonna tell me. So I show him all the evidence that I had been gathering, all the messages and the pictures. But little did he know, I had already hired a lawyer. I'd known about the affair for about a month at this point. I had already been working on the divorce with the lawyer, documenting every single transgression my husband committed against me with our neighbor. And when I told my husband, he freaked. The neighbor, AKA the woman my husband was with, she got out of the pool and went home. I printed out some flyers with all the pictures she had sent my husband and spread them around her yoga studio. I now get $10,000 for my husband monthly. Story time about how I got catfished by my best friend. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My now ex-best friend and I hung out almost every single day. We were super close. Let's call her Natalie. Natalie and I would sometimes get into drama and her mom didn't like this. She considered me a bad influence on Natalie. But honestly, the drama was coming from both sides. Natalie and I had a group chat with one other person. One day, Natalie sends me a message through the group chat saying that she couldn't be my best friend anymore and that she's really sorry. She really didn't explain why though. I was crushed. She had been my best friend for so long. Three weeks ago, I noticed that someone added me on Snapchat by search. I didn't really think too much about it. I added them back and we started having a conversation. She was a young girl my age and we started having conversations about boys we had crushes on, school, and lots of other things. I asked her to send me a picture of herself and she said she couldn't. That should have been the first red flag. Then we decided to meet up at the mall. I wait for her at the mall, but she never shows up. Part two is up. I'm at the mall waiting for this girl to show up, but she never does. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. Like I said before, this girl told me she couldn't send me any pictures, so I didn't even know what she looked like. That's when I started suspecting something. We got along so well in our Snapchat conversations, it was almost too good to be true. So of course, I decide to call her. And guess who answers? Natalie, with her new friends who she knows that I hate. At that moment, I realized that she dumped me and then got with these new girls that she knew I hated. Of course, I was furious. I wanted to say something, but before I could, Natalie hung up the phone. And of course she did. She knew I was gonna go off on her. Well, I start calling Natalie's phone several times and she doesn't answer. Then I see that she unadded me off Snapchat and blocked me. So now I have no way of getting in contact with her. I spent weeks talking to this girl only to find out it was my ex-best friend catfishing me. So of course, I drive all the way to Natalie's house and her mom answers. Part three is up. So I show up to my ex-best friend's house who's been catfishing me for weeks. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. Her mom was not happy to see me. Like I mentioned before, Natalie's mom thought I was a bad influence on her because we always got into drama. I proceed to tell Natalie's mom everything in detail. Her mom was shocked. She couldn't believe that her little daughter would be capable of such a thing. She was so mad and it was so satisfying to me. I leave Natalie's house and I go home. The next day, I see that all of Natalie's new friends are posting on their social media saying that Natalie's phone got taken away for a few months and that whoever did it, F you. I know they know it's me. It turns out Natalie's mom took her phone away for a whole month and deleted all of her social media. She totally deserves it. Natalie and her new friends are in a different school. And here's the kicker, I'm gonna be going to the same school. Now I'm just hoping they don't try to do something to me. And if they try, I'm so ready.
Story time about how this one girl bullied me so bad she tried to beat me up, but guess what? The joke was on her because my sister beat her up. I was in eighth grade and I was bullied pretty badly, but this one girl in particular who didn't like me would make my life miserable. This girl was in 10th grade and I was in eighth grade at the time. I didn't defend myself at the time. I was really just scared of everything and everyone because I got bullied so much. And my sister knew that, which is why she was always looking out for me. She always had my back. So the bully, let's call her Jackie. Jackie started leaving me mean notes in my locker. And at the time, I guess I didn't really know if it was her. It could have been many people since I got bullied by many people. And the kids in my class would group around me whenever I would go to open my locker just to see my reaction when I would read the mean things she left in the notes. So for example, she would make fun of my acne and my big lips, but it got so much worse. One day I was walking down the hallway and she comes up right behind me and spills fake blood all over my back, making it look like I had my period. I was mortified and she did this in front of everyone when we were on break. Then in front of everyone, she says that she's gonna beat me up at lunch and that I better be there. So come back for part two. Part two. So Jackie the bully spilled fake blood down my back, making it look like I had my period. And then she announced to everyone that she was gonna beat me up at lunch and that I better be there. The bell rings and someone tells me that she's waiting for me at the soccer field. My God, I was so scared. Of course I wasn't planning on going, but three of the girls in my class literally took me by my arms and took me to the soccer field. Gosh, were they mean. And of course there's a whole audience waiting for me. Jackie was right in the center. As soon as I get there, she starts yelling at me. And you know what I did? I asked her, why do you hate me so much? She actually didn't know what to say. She stayed quiet. So I asked her, what did I do to you? Then she said she saw me on a commercial in our local channel and that it made her really angry. And I said, is that all? Then she said that she didn't like my face either. She starts pushing me backwards. She pushed me a few times and I fell back. She was literally about to kick me when I hear my sister yelling from behind the crowd saying, why don't you pick on someone your own size? The crowd parts and my sister comes through and tells Jackie to leave me alone. Then she tried to kick me again and my sister tackled her to the ground, come back for part three. Part three, as Jackie the bully is trying to kick me, my sister tackles her to the ground. Well, Jackie got really scared because she was not expecting that. And my sister picks her up from the floor and throws her into a bush. Jackie starts to cry and she says that she's gonna tell on my sister. Well, my sister says, I have all the notes that you've been sending to my sister and we can compare it to your own handwriting. Guess who they'll believe? My sister took me to the principal's office and we gave her all of the notes and I told her everything that happened. So the principal went and searched Jackie's backpack. Guess what she found? Scissors and tape. Jackie confessed that she wanted to tie my hands and cut off all my hair. She got suspended from school for three days. When she came back, her parents took her to my classroom and made her apologize in front of everyone. If you're being bullied, speak up. Story time about how I caught my boyfriend cheating on me and I got him arrested. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My boyfriend and I have only been together for two months. I'm gonna call him Rex. We live in a pretty small town and everybody knows that Rex is a player. He asked me out and I said yes because I always had a crush on him. After a few dates, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes under the condition that he was totally monogamous. And he said, of course. A few weeks into the relationship, I noticed that he was always hiding his phone from me. And whenever he would put his phone on a table, he would flip the screen side down. Of course, this had me on high alert. One night we went out with friends and I made sure that he got super drunk. I took advantage and went through all of his Instagram DMs. And of course he had been talking to about 30 girls. And I knew some of these girls and they knew that we were together. He had even set up a date with one of the girls for the following day at a bar. And you better believe that I was going to catch him red-handed. I show up to the bar and I don't see them. I go back to the parking lot and there he is in his car making out with this girl. I knock on the window. Part two is up. My boyfriend is in his car making out with another girl. I caught them red-handed. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. My boyfriend Rex quickly puts on his shirt and the other girl puts on her shirt too. I try to open the door, but it's locked. And to my surprise, my boyfriend gets mad at me and asks me what I'm doing there. So of course I say to him, what are you doing here? That's when he finally gets out of the car and he tells the other girl to stay in the car. I told him that he had promised to be monogamous. That's when he said that I was crazy and that he had never promised that and that he had no intention to be serious with me. Then he said that I made that entire conversation up in my head. And then he told me to leave. I was so shocked. I couldn't believe what he had just said to me. The girl gets out of the car and she actually apologizes to me. And she told me that Rex had told her that he was single. Then Rex lunges at her, starts pulling her hair, and pushes her to the ground. Part three is up. My boyfriend lunges at the girl that I just caught him cheating on me with. He starts pulling her hair and pushes her to the ground. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. Try to get him to stop and I pulled his arm. Then he turns around and starts chasing me. I run back into the bar and two guys stop him. I called the cops right away and they came and arrested him. Later on that day, he asked me to bail him out and I said no. Everybody knows what he did. The other girl is trying to press charges and my dad wants me to get a restraining order. But I'm still in love with him and I don't want to get him in any more trouble. I even want to take him back, but I know I shouldn't, right?